Here's the shot challenger Scott Talley hopes will put him over the top in his race with Senator Lee Bright, strolling into a campaign rally with Governor Nikki Haley. We're going to do what it takes. Uh, this district has too much positive happening for us to stop now. My job is to look after the state of South Carolina. When I see that there's a senator like Lee Bright that's trying to kill everything from ethics to anything else, you know, and all of a sudden he votes for it because it's an election year, that's not a good thing for the people of this district. Yeah, these are a, lot of emails a few miles away, Bright is working on his campaign. And at one time, Haley endorsed him too. When she endorsed me was 2012. That was prior to her flip-flopping on the gas tax. I mean, that was prior to, to when she flip-flopped on the flag. I mean, she, she gets on, you know, you've got election Haley, and then you've got, you know, lame duck Haley. And lame duck Haley isn't quite as conservative. Bright pulled in over 37% of the vote on Tuesday night, with Tally coming in second with over 26% forcing the runoff. There's some, some initiatives that she has that I want to help her fight for that the current senator has been an obstructionist on. And so I welcome her support and I look forward to winning this thing over the next two weeks. I have been the most conservative. There are going to be several conservative legislators coming out back in my campaign. You know, I, I think from what I hear from conservatives, I've had calls all day of people that told me they were undecided until they heard about the Haley endorsement and now they're supporting me. Also today, more anti-bright ads hit the air. In eight years, only one of the 116 bills he authored was signed into law. Bright's done nothing for upstate families, nothing to bring more jobs, nothing to fix the roads. Well, I just expected the entire establishment to come together. I mean, that, that was something. If they, basically, if they're able to beat me, they'll have the potential of silencing other conservatives. Senator Bright says the attacks on him are just more of the same. He says the only thing that matters is what voters say on the 28th. John Lyon, WIFF News 4, Spartanburg.